From the tweet to the beat of the mighty elephant's feet. From the tweet to the beat of the mighty elephant's feet. From the tweet to the beat of the mighty elephant's feet. From the tweet to the beat. Of a mighty elephant's feet Everybody and welcome to the first day of Creators Holiday Club. It is so good that you're joining us and we hope that you're looking forward to these next five days as much as we are. As you can see I'm in my garden and I've been camping in my tent. You see I love to be in creation, in God's creation and we are going to go on an exciting tour of God's creation together this week. You've got some singing and some crafts and some Bible stories and some jokes and some wild facts about nature to look forward to. And we're so excited on going on this journey together. I've got my backpack and I'm ready to go. So, adventurers, are you ready to join me? Let's go. First, let's go over to Ben, who's gonna lead us in a bouncy warm up. His name's Bouncy Ben, so you better be ready to get some jumping and some jiggling going. Is anyone there? Oh, I really hope so. Because it's Holiday Club and it's time to get excited. My name is Bouncing Ben and I'm here to do a warm up with you today to warm up our minds, to warm up our bodies, to make sure that we're ready to listen to some great news about Jesus, which is like the most exciting thing in the entire whole world. So I thought we could do a dance. It's the easiest dance I know. Do you know why? It's the only dance I know. It has some very, very easy moves and all you've got to do is this. This is the first move. One, stick your right arm up. Two, stick your left arm up. Three, stick your right arm down. Four, stick your left arm down. Five, pump those shoulders this way. Whatever number is next, six, pump the shoulders that way. All together it looks like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Pretty easy, right? I'll do it again. I'm going to do it as quick as I can. Was that good? I couldn't really tell, okay? And the trick is, is that this dance move can be used for absolutely any song in the whole world. If you're stuck at a party and you don't know how to dance, impress your friends. Teach them how to do this. I once got like 30 people doing it and they didn't even realise that I cannot dance, okay? So let's find some good music to dance to. All right, what's this? That's not it. Uh, this one? I think it's been overdone, that one, personally. Maybe this one. No, definitely, definitely not. Let's try, let's try this. See if it reawakens some old memories. Ooh, yeah, that's good. All right, get ready. Stand up if you're not ready, stand up. Okay, get ready, get ready. <sighs> Breathe in. You can add some of your own moves if you want, okay? Ready? One, two, three, four. Do 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 do. One, two, three, four. 
One, two, three, four. Well done, guys. That was a fantastic warm up. I hope you're as warmed up as me. Whew. Let's learn, let's do it. I'll see you soon for another one. From the tweet to the beat of the mighty elephant's feet. Great me.
beginning, there was nothing. Nothing to hear, nothing to feel, nothing to see. Only emptiness and darkness and nothing but nothing. But God was there and God had a wonderful plan. I'll take this emptiness, God said, and I'll fill it up. Out of the darkness, I'm going to make light. And out of the nothing, I'm going to make everything. God hovered over the deep, silent darkness. He was making life happen. God spoke, that's all. And whatever he said, it happened. Let there be light. Let there be sea and sky. Let there be dry land. Let there be sun and moon in the sky. Let there be fish in the sea and birds in the sky. Let there be animals on the land and people in my image. God looked at everything he had made and he was very pleased with it. Hey guys, I'm Helen. I hope you're excited for this year's Holiday Club. I know the creation story we just heard was a bit of fun and a bit of a silly way to tell the story, but I still find it hard not to be excited when I see all that God has created for us. A wonderful world for us to live in. Now, I love creating stuff too. During lockdown, I made pom-pom wreaths. Do you like making things? Are you creative? Do you like arts and crafts or maybe Lego's more your thing? Or do you like playing Minecraft? Whether we're good at craft and making stuff or not, I bet most of us could make something out of a pile of Lego like this. Look, it's a rocket. I reckon most of you could do a lot better than that. But when God created the world, there are two things that really strike me. We can really see God's amazing power at work through them. Firstly, his power is shown in the fact that he created using only his voice. You and I can't do that. Build. Build. No, doesn't work. And secondly, when we make things, we use the things that we have available to us. So my pom-pom wreaths used wool, which turned into pom-poms. And the pictures that you draw use paper and pens or paints and Lego models use Lego bricks. Even when you're creating in Minecraft, you need the resources that you've, crea uh, that you've collected or you need to be in creative mode where you're provided with all the resources that you need. And the story of creation that we watched earlier was just created out of clever editing. And God's power is most clearly shown when we look at what he had to create from. So what did God have to create from? In the beginning, there was nothing. Nothing to hear, nothing to feel, nothing to see only emptiness and darkness and nothing but nothing. And that is the amazing God that we can get to know. The God who created the world from nothing. From the tweet, 
about the amazing story of God's creation. And in our family, we especially love finding out about all kinds of interesting creatures. From humpback whales to slippery snails. We love them all and we are so thankful for each and every unique creature God has put into our world. So for today's craft activity, instead of us teaching you a skill, we've actually got a challenge for you. And our challenge is for you to have a go at making your own version of your favourite animal. You could use junk modelling, just make sure it's actually junk first. Or you could use paint or Play-Doh or drawing or colouring pencils. It is completely up to you. Just get creative. And we weren't going to let you have all the fun. So uh, we've had a little go ourselves and made some of our own favourite creatures. So we're just going to show you some pictures now of how we got on. After a really fun visit to the zoo, William decided he would like to make a model of a leopard. We thought really carefully about the different parts of a leopard. He added some toilet roll legs and a paper tube for the tail. Here we go. We raided an old shoe box and some other junk we had around the house. Then it was time to paint it. We started with yellow and painted the whole thing. Then William added the signature black spots to really give it that leopard look. And here we are, one finished leaping leopard. Next up, we decided we'd have a go at a crocodile. We added scales into Play-Doh using the end of a pen to give it that nice green hide. And here's me with the finished product. I was extremely proud of it. And here we have a close-up. Can you see it snapping jaws and big beady eyes? And of course Freya wasn't going to miss out on the fun, so she decided to get stuck into the Play-Doh as well. I wonder what she's going to make. Hopefully you feel really inspired to have a go yourselves. Good luck! Hello, I've been asked to give you a few weird and wacky facts about wildlife. So we're going to go all over the world and see all sorts of different animals that are a bit weird, but all part of God's creation. We're going to start off in the southern United States. Do you know what this is? It's the rattle of a rattlesnake. Well, what is that? Well, it's the end of the tail that's quite hollow. And why does it rattle? Well, it's a warning sound so that anything who thinks they might want to eat the rattlesnake is put off by that noise. The rattlesnake is saying, I'm a bit mean, don't mess with me, I'm dangerous. Okay, so that's pretty wild, that's pretty weird. But there's something even weirder about this story. In the same area, there are little tiny owls living called burrowing owls. They make their nest underground in burrows or tunnels. And a baby owl would be good food for a rattlesnake. So if the snake comes along and sees a burrow, it might decide to go down and see what's there. But the really weird bit is the baby owls can make a noise like a rattlesnake. And the snake is put off and it backs out of the burrow and tries somewhere else. So that's pretty weird. A snake that can rattle its tail and a baby owl that sounds like a rattlesnake. Well, enjoy the rest of your day. See you tomorrow. Well, we've come to 
the end of day one of Creators and we hope you've had so much fun and I have to announce that today's winner is Ruth Cheeseman. She is the joke winner of the day. Let me tell you her joke. I think you'll find it hilarious. What is orange and sounds like a parrot? A carrot! Well done Ruth, a prize will be delivered to your door today. Now let's listen to our theme tune for this holiday club. It's written by someone called Heidi and it's called Tweet to the Beat. So get your dancing gear on because this one's funky. Bye everyone. From the tweet to the beat of the mighty elephant's feet. From the tweet to the beat of the mighty elephant's feet. From the tweet to the beat of the mighty elephant's feet. From the tweet to the beat. Of a mighty elephant's feet Lions pour from the snow to the roar, and the mighty lions pour from the snow to the roar, and the mighty lions pour from the snow to the roar, and the mighty lions pour. Tweet, to the beat, of the 